Lawrence, ladies' man, coming this fall to CBS Monday. Well, Parker's finally settled down. That's good. Poor little guy didn't get much sleep last night. Well, it's a new place. He'll settle down as soon as he and his mother settle in. Barbara, you know this is just a temporary situation. So is this. What's this? It's your half of the guest list. I want you to call them and let them know that there's been a postponement to our wedding. I'll take care of my half of the list. I don't want to call anybody. I don't care. Fine. Email them, fax them, do whatever you have Barbara, to do. Barbara, that's not what I meant. I don't want to postpone this wedding. I want us to get married tonight as we planned. Pearl, I'd be really lousy in a menage a trois. Hon, I know this is difficult, but can't we work No, we can't. Now, there's not going to be a wedding, at least not to me. Not while Carly T. Henny is in the house. So you better make those phone calls, otherwise we're gonna have a lot of people showing up expecting to be wined and dined. Barbara, Don't leave on my account. You. Sorry. Shouldn't be here. I brought you. You should have known better. Mm -hmm. Well, I I'll go pack up my things, and you can work things out with Barbara when I'm gone. Where are you going to go? Back to the lobby of the Lakeview? I don't know. No. Just, you don't have to worry about it. You're not going to be coming to my rescue again. I'll find some place respectable to stay. Thanks for being so nice, but this, uh, this is not going to work. I guess you should get that. Jack. Never fails. What does it? The feeling I get when I walk in this place. It's like it's a haven. A place I can come and bring my problems and, and all the questions I don't have answers for. Do they get answers? My head gets clear and, and usually somehow the answers come. Hmm. Well, then I guess you brought me to the right place then. Maybe some of that clear-headedness will rub off on me. Still thinking about what happened with Andy? Yeah. It's kind of hard for me to gloat about my great new life when his just fell to pieces. Well, I've never seen you gloat about anything. I don't know. It's just... Everything in my life is finally working out, Ben. And Andy, he is in so much pain right now. He... he, he really loves Molly, and he was all set to marry her, and now he finds out that she had some big secret and she just runs off without saying a word? Maybe he's better off in the long run. I don't know. I just know that when I watched him this morning when he was feeling so down and alone, he reached down and he picked up Hope and he held her in his arms. And all I could think about was that he is holding his own baby and he doesn't even know it. So you want to tell Andy he's Hope's father, don't you? You're planning on burning that thing. What are you talking about? You know, in the old days, they used to purge the countryside with fire. Yeah, they burned down houses, Betty. Whatever the diseased had touched. She's caused as much trouble as the plague. The least they could do is eradicate her. What are you... How did you find us? It doesn't matter, Molly. I'm taking my child out of here now. Reed could be back here any second. Nothing is going to stop me, Molly. Work with me here, for the baby's sake. You know, I, I tried to call you, but he got suspicious. What's gonna happen to him? The only thing I care about is Melinda. We'll deal with Reed later.
didn't take any time at all, did it? Yeah, that little store off the lobby had exactly what I need. Where's Melinda? She was fussy, so I put her in the crib in the other room so she'd be more what, comfortable. Was she awake? What? Um, no, actually, she, she just decided to take a nap. Well, I prefer if she sleeps in the car. Wait! What? Molly? Well, you got back so quickly, you, uh, you practically ruined my surprise. What surprise? Um... Wait, I need some air. My family's healthy smiles, I found the combination. Crest Multicare. One toothpaste that combines all you want. It removes stains, fights cavities, and visible tartar buildup. Brushing with it removes plaque. And it leaves our breath multi-fresh. Now our teeth are cleaner and healthy through the day. Crest Multicare, the combination to unlock our best smiles. Countless mornings at the lake This race could be our big break Just love that mountain grown blue Now I'll leave my crew In rhythm we row as one Racing towards the rising sun This is the new body language. Words usually reserved for your face are finally possible all over with new Olay Daily Renewal Body Wash. It continually improves your skin each time you shower, making it resilient, more radiant, with more even tone than any other body wash. New Daily Renewal Body Wash from Oil of Olay. Proven to transform your skin. Hi, Mom. Four o'clock? Great. Love you, too. <sighs> Bounty's not your ordinary paper towel. It has the durability to handle even life's toughest messes. Hi, Mom. Hey, sweet. Oh, my. What happened? <laughs> the quilted tough picker-upper. Bounty. I hate to bother you at home on your lunch hour. Well, that's all right. It's a welcome diversion. Come on in. Well, I just... I just heard the Lillian Holden took off to Canada last night. Yeah, I know. Margo filled me in. Well, then you know that they're following Reed Hamilton, who's on the run with the child that they think is theirs. Yep, I know that, too. And if you want to say, I told you so, go right ahead. Well, I'll, I'll save that to when the, the baby is safe with her parents. Look, I need your okay to fly to Calgary, track down Lillian Holden, and help them. Calgary? Yeah, that's where they got off the plane. I already checked with the airports. They must have gotten a lead on Hamilton. You want me to let you go after Reed Hamilton? I came here instead of heading straight to the airport. I want to make this one official. Jack, I'll eat all the crow you want, but you know, you and Mr. Hamilton have had some serious issues that have landed you in some serious trouble. Yes, in I the agree, past. but this time, with the exception that this baby's my cousin's, it's not personal. I have experiences with kidnappings from when I was working with the feds. You can start greasing the extradition wheels because I can bring him in, hell. Couldn't you have found something else to do today, like jump down a well or something? I, I deserve to be in on this for more than one reason. Now, yeah, you know, it, it'll make me feel great to nail that quack shrink, but this isn't about him. This is about saving a child, not revenge. Now, if he gets away, 
He will go underground and that child will disappear. All right, Jack, it's yours. But I want to speak to you every step along the yes. way. This yes. is not a rogue operation. Okay, okay. Let me just call that. some friends in Washington and I will be in touch. Yes, it's Carly. She's staying here for a while. You want a match for this, or are you gonna throw it on the garbage? I'm not gonna do anything with them. You were hoping that was her at the door just now, didn't you? Yes. Why do I come over here? I don't know. You know, I thought you had better sense than this. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm disappointing you. I don't mean that. You know that. I'd like to hear her side of things. What good is that gonna do? She's just gonna lie to you. You know that, Andy. She'll say anything she has you to keep you on the hook. Don't be too sure. Oh, come on. What You, you think she doesn't want to hold on to you? And Andy, you're her ticket to respectability. And you're so nice. You're so forgive. You're going to forgive her until you're both 100 years old and she's America's most wanted. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm the fool and the sucker, and she can get me to do anything she wants. Come on. Keep up the flag. Oh, come now. on. I'm just in a rotten mood. You know. Oh, oh, so you tell me then. What are you doing? You're sitting here looking at these pictures wishing her ill will? No, I'm wishing her here. What for? The big interview? This. I, what do you think were her mo motivations anyway? What, uh, uh, she just wanted to cut a Carly's money? Is that why she gives me a kid and then she takes it away from him? I mean, I'd like a few answers myself, and I'd also like to... Yeah, what, you're gonna beat her? Senseless? I would just like my life back the way it was. Parker's my son. I know. Well, you just don't... You just don't stop that, take away the affection, and give up all the plans and everything. And you don't fall. In and out of love. Now, are you talking about... Are you talking about me and Parker? Are you talking about you and, and Molly Conlon? Because the situation is very different there, Andy. Now, Parker's an innocent. The, the, thanks to your, your, your fiancé or your, your girlfriend, or whatever the hell she is, Hal Munson walked out of that restaurant with Parker. I didn't have a right in my life to just to stop him. I have no rights. Yes, yes, but Hal's a reasonable man. Maybe you can... Oh, what? Maybe, maybe what? I can play Uncle Johnny with the boy that's mine? The best favor that Hal Munson could do me is to drag her back here to Oakdale, preferably by her hair, and throw her right in the slammer. And when she's behind bars, then maybe you can go and you can ask her. What was her reason for setting me up like this, huh? You're way off. I don't think that was her aim at all. I'm gonna make sure that she gets what's coming to her. And if you hear from her, Andy, you tell her. You tell her, I hope the cops get a hold of her before I do, because I'm gonna take it out on her head. What? Don't you like my surprise? Yeah, I love your surprise, but I told you I want to get out of here early. Well, it is early, and besides, this will just make the trip that much more relaxed. Okay, I just, I want to check on Melinda first, okay? She's sleeping, and she'll be cranky if you wake her up. And I'll be cranky if you don't get in the shower with me. <laughs> what? You bored with me already? No, of course I'm not bored with you. Oh, you're just not in the mood. Uh, Is that it? Because I can change that, you know. Mm, mm. Watch it. This water is going to get hot really fast. There we go. Almost as hot as I am, too. <laughs> You're beautiful. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm your mama. This is your daddy. That's right. It's okay. Oh, it's Ordinary spray cleaner, or one that has some real giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, 409. You know, Formula 409 has real giddy up in the kitchen. Well, now it has 25% more giddy up in the bathroom. So much more giddy up, it dissolves this soap scum better than fantastic. New improved 409. Now with even more. Giddy up 409. 
You wear it, but don't notice it. What is it? My skin, my pantyhose, my Carefree Ultra Thin Panty Liners. So thin you won't even notice it. New Carefree Ultra Thins, the thinnest ever. So you'll feel nothing but clean and fresh. If you're one of the 36 million people who wear dentures, this is big. New 5-Minute Polydent Clean Stains then forms an invisible poly shield barrier so you feel fresh all day. 5-Minute Polydent with Poly Shield. What's so great about nasal crumb? Look at me. I'm not sneezing, but I'm not drowsy. I'm not stuffy, but I'm not jittery. I've never been not miserable in allergy season before. Nasal Crom's incredible. Unlike these, it can't make you drowsy. And unlike these, there's no possibility of drug interactions. It's the only allergy medicine that goes right to the source and flat out prevents allergy symptoms. Nasal Crom. The best way to stop suffering is never to start. I had a dream. There is a place where the only problems you need to solve involve a swimming pool, a ladder, and two Mickey Roonies. And you're cordially invited to visit each and every night by Serta. We make the world's best mattress. Impersonating the president can be a serious crime. Is this legal? Oh, yeah, probably. Or a whole lot of fun. Kevin Klein, Sigourney Weaver, Day, CBS Tonight. Hey. Hey. You cooking something? What does it look like? Way too much trouble. <laughs> I'm very serious in the kitchen, you know. I don't fool around. So, are you just, uh, just really hungry tonight, or what? It's for Mom and Dad. I figured I'd help him get past this whole wedding delay. Mm. Voila. A romantic meal just for the two of them. Uh, wh whoa! You're not gonna chow down on any of this fancy stuff, and ne neither am I. They can't have romance with their kids hanging around. All right, well, I'll just nuke a pizza. I can deal. I've set up a sleepover for Will, and after I serve the meal, I'm going to friends for the night. Hint, hint. Oh, great. Some privacy, finally. Well, except for the parent ties. Well, actually, I'll just invite some of the boys over, you know, pick up some videos. Very funny. You have to clear out, too, so they can have a chance. If this works, they'll be nice and mellow by the poached pears and reconciled before the night's over. Where do you girls learn this stuff? <laughs> Scared? <laughs> well, you should be. While you boys are bashing sports, we are educating ourselves in the most amazing ways. Am I really going to have to live with you? I'm goal-oriented, Adam. And my goal tonight is to get them to make up and to call the wedding back on. Okay, well, maybe you should just give it a little time because this whole situation was just smashed upon them. Mom can get used to the baby. <sighs> it's that Carly person that's the problem. All right, Jen, um, I have two words of advice for you. But out. <laughs> that's nice. Don't you want to see our parents together? Yeah, sure. Uh, but... Y you can't just play matchmaker like this. That just won't cut it. You know, they, they have to do it themselves. I tried it with my mom and Tom, and it doesn't work. Trust me. Maybe it can even make things worse. Maybe you just didn't do it right. Oh, yeah, right. Maybe if I'd cooked them a big, fancy dinner, they wouldn't have split up. It's possible. Hi, guys. Any phone calls? Uh, that's Lisa. About a shipment of fashion she had to send back. She said you should call. <laughs> no way. She wants to kill me because of the postponement. What's all this? I thought I'd make you and Dad dinner tonight. Oh, honey, that's so... so nice of you. I think maybe you can take a plate over to Hal's house for him. Things can't be that bad. You guys love each other. Well, it takes more than love to make a relationship work. It takes commitment. And it takes... understanding each other, being willing to... Give when you have to give, and you guys don't have to listen to all this because you've heard enough grown-up laments as it is. Mom, did, did something just happen? Mm. Did you see Dad? Oh, yeah. I saw him, all right. And the ex-wife, too. I just don't understand why this had to happen, that's all. I... Yep, I thought we could get this marriage off without a hitch. I wish to hell that Brad Snyder had kept his mouth shut. Mom, it'll be okay, really. Dad loves you so much. Please.
please don't cry, Mom. I have a lot of lost time to make up for with my boy, Jack. And frankly, I didn't want Carly anywhere around when I started to do it. I figure it's only fair for me to have my turn. What changed your mind? I realized that Parker doesn't care about what I think is fair. He's been with Carly his whole life, and he misses his ma, and that's the short and the sweet of it. You did the right thing, Al. Look, Jack, if you want to see her, no, she's no, right here. No, no, I, I, no. Uh, I, I probably shouldn't see her. It's, it's, it's best that we steer clear of each other right now. Okay, fine. After what she did to you and John and my brother... Jack, you don't have to explain. She gave me reasons why she did it, the lies. And I want to understand her. I want to, I want a way to look at it in, in, in a sense that I, I, I can live with, but I, I can't. I figure it all comes down to the 50 million. I mean, that's a hell of a lot of temptation, even for an honest, normal person. I really wanted to believe that she could change. That she was finally, once and for all, being totally honest with me. Because she knew it was a stake. How stupid was that? Well, Carly can be incredibly convincing. Nobody believes in what she's saying and doing more than Carly does while she's saying and doing it. Yeah. And I kept on thinking that she's the way she is because of her childhood, because her, her mother ran off and, and how poor she was. But you know what, Hal? It doesn't matter what the reasons are. Carly's not going to change. I understand that now. Because it's all about Carly and to hell with everybody else. Carly. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm sorry. Aren't we all? Uh, I have to go check on something in the garage. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Oh, that's a load. You're right. It is. You ready? Melinda all strapped in? Yes, let's get out of here. Stick Invisible Dry. I only you neath the moon and under the sun. Lady Speed Stick Invisible Dry goes on clear to protect you for 24 hours with no white residue. Breeze through your day, however long it lasts. Day and night, night and day. By men. My business runs on long hours and the leave. I can't settle for those pain relievers that quit too soon. Just two a leave are strong enough to work all day. I used to need eight Tylenol to do that. There's a tool for every job. For tough pain, it's a leave. Some things in life look good wrinkled. But your laundry isn't one of them. That's the beauty of Snuggle Fabric Softener. It helps minimize wrinkling as it softens. <laughs> wow, wrinkles. Easy on the ears. Man, that chili was hot. You got heartburn too? Yeah. Want to try these new Pepsi AC chewables? It says you gotta take it with water. What's the water for? Yeah, with Tums, you don't need water. Just because new Pepsi is chewable doesn't mean it works like Tums. Tums calcium neutralizes acid fast. Pepsi chewables from Otadine has to go through your bloodstream, so it takes 40 minutes just to start controlling acid. You wanna go back for water? Forget the water, pass the Tums. Tum, 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 tum. There is a minute in each morning where the day is fresh and ripe with possibility. A minute where you stand tall before the day. Drink it all in. 
and say to yourself, today, the deep end. That minute was made for Minute Maid. The taste is fresh and ripe as morning itself. Drink in 100% Minute Maid Premium and squeeze the day. America's Secret War. Dan Rather takes you inside the war zone tonight. When you live in a house full of women... Is they getting a little cramped in here? They can make you feel guilty. What I do, what I do, what I do. Make you crazy. Would you like a Valium? Please. Make you anxious. What would I be looking for that would indicate a, a boy child? A set of golf clubs and a fear of intimacy. But above all, they can make you a better man. My girls, my women, they're what give me a soul. Ladies, man. Let me tell you what I've learned about women. Nothing. A new comedy coming this fall to CBS Monday. Can't say that I'm surprised. Eavesdropping is the least of your sins. When I heard your voice, You Jack, just couldn't tear yourself away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. You be as mean as you have to what, be. Would you think I want to hurt you, Curly? You're perfectly justified. No, I'd say the brother Brad took care of the revenge trip. And who got taken out? You, Molly, me, John, and, and, and Hal and Barbara. They're feeling the ripples. But you're okay, right? Sadder, wiser, more disillusioned, maybe. I'm so sorry. I'll get over it. Just like you got over me. <laughs> I, I know, I... I did it all to myself. I don't have time for this right now. Will you ever have time, Jack? For me, I mean... You always ask way too much, way too soon, girly. Well, I'm greedy when it comes to you, Jack. Yeah, well, it's not like you haven't had your chances, now I have you. I know, and I blew them all, every last one. And so now you see me as, what, some sort of leopard with permanent spots? No, I see you for what you appear to be. I can be anything with you. Well, that's not an option now, is it? I don't know. That's a question that you need to... Carly! Ask. I'm all talked out right now. I've got some things to do, some important things. If you want to change, Carly, stop talking about it and do it. Show me. Show everyone that you're worth it. I'm a little rusty at this. I'm thinking that some thanks are in order right about now, but, uh... Well, actually overdue, but hey, better late than never, right? I just want to say thank you for... for giving me Big Ben. And for for bringing me together with my baby girl and letting me spend time with her, because I'm just so grateful. Because I never really expected to see her again. It just doesn't seem fair, you know? Because you, you've been blessing me big time. So how come Andy, you know, hopes, hopes Daddy, how, how come he's having such a rough time right now? You know, I never told him that he's Hope's father. I, I thought that was best, because... I don't know now, I don't know. I got this... little crowded view of things, because I'm right in the middle of it, and... See, I don't have that, that long, broad view that you got. And Andy, he is such... a good man, but he is hurting so much right now. And he feels so alone, I'm not so sure that I can bear it. I know that I could... I could probably give him something that could ease that pain. See? I told you Melinda's not crying, so can we please pick up where we left off? Just as soon as I check on my daughter, yeah. <laughs> Boy, you've got a one-track mind. Well, you know what? So do I. Hey, Molly, what is it with you today, huh? Nothing. Nothing. I want you. I want to be with you. Why are you so nervous? I'm not. I'm not... No! no. Dave! Don't worry, little girl. We'll be home soon. Did you fix it? Let's pray. I am all the time. Give 
Where will you be when your grandson gets his first taste of the ocean? When man walks on Mars? When your children want to discover their heritage? Life is filled with moments you don't want to miss. That's why if you have high cholesterol and heart disease, you should know about Zocor. Zocor is proven to help save lives by reducing the risk of a heart attack. So where will you be tomorrow? That could depend on what you do today. When diet and exercise aren't enough, talk to your doctor about adding Zocor. Zocor is a prescription medication that is not right for everyone, including women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant, or people with liver problems. Your doctor may do blood tests to check for liver problems, because serious side effects can result. Tell your doctor about any muscle pain or weakness you experience while on Zocor, and about any medicines you are taking. For more information, talk to your doctor or call. Zocor. It's your future. Be there. Your baby's life is full of milestones. But I've learned starting table food too soon shouldn't be one of them. Research shows that easy-to-eat adult foods may not provide all the nutrition they need. Many are not as good as these baby foods in providing valuable minerals like iron. So necessary right now for developing healthy blood. Don't let a milestone become a mistake by starting adult foods too early. Besides, don't they grow up too fast anyway? <laughs> Nestle Treasures, chocolate with a new caramel filling. Oh, these are so tempting. Mmm, kind of like men. These are a lot easier to clean up after. Nestle Treasures, from you to you. If you have to see it, why not see it for less? Same contacts, lower prices. At 1-800-CONTACTS. On July 5th, 1999, this man disappeared from Monday night, never to be seen again, until he reappeared on Wednesday. Don't miss the Cosby Wednesday Project, CBS Tonight. Jim Rockford is running for his life. Hang on. And Diane Cannon's going along for the ride. <laughs> You're good. If the frame fits, a Rockford Files movie, CBS Thursday. They're here, the biggest names in television from your favorite TV shows for Classic TV Week on Hollywood Squares. This is just the way I like it. All the kids have their own rooms. What TV drama takes place in Chicago's Cook County Hospital? The Jerry Springer Show. Well, hon, if I were here longer than a week, I'd need therapy. Bob? With Michelle Nichols and Loretta Swift, tune in for Classic TV Week on Hollywood Squares. Tonight at 7.30 on CBS 2. After the Phoebe Potts procedure, Fran Darrow lost 130 pounds, Diana Shimada lost 105 pounds, and Daryl Woods lost 200 pounds. Because of the Phoebe Potts procedure, people are regaining their lives. I go walking more. I have to ride the bicycle now. When I go up and down the steps, I'm not huffing and puffing. I feel like a million dollars now. Feeling great, looking great, and being happy. Call us to see if the Phoebe Potts procedure could change your life. I now have a life. Hi, I'm Dr. Joy Brown. Are you getting married but have one last thing you need to tell your fiancé? If so, we might be able to help. Call 1-877-JOY-SHOW. You could be a guest on our new TV show. If you've got a real problem, we'll help you find a real solution. Watch CTV now on CBS 2, late night. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. Well, I told Parker that I'd be visiting him every day. I hope, uh, hope I wasn't lying to him. I think we can work that out. You know, you're a real gentleman. John, I'm sure, would be standing in guard with a shotgun, making sure I never got to see my son. You lucked out. Listen, Carly, you know... You and Jack. Yeah, no, we finally came to one agreement anyway. You both hate me. He doesn't hate you. He's just sorry the way things turned out, that's all. Yeah. So am I. 
You know, he finally let himself love me again the way he did in the beginning. Didn't push me away. And so what did I do? Of course, I pushed my self-destruct button, made the same exact mistakes, made sure that I would end up in the exact same place. You're young. There's still hope. Not if I don't break this cycle, you know? I can't keep spending my life just waiting to win Jack's love. It's like shooting myself in the foot every day. Parker certainly deserves more from his mother than that. Just somehow I need to get my act together and finally prove that I can do what I've been saying that I was going to do all this time. And what is that? Change. So, uh, here I am. I'm going to make myself scarce so that you and Barbara can make up. I take it I don't have to have to tell you to take care, good care of my son. No, you don't have to tell me that. Yeah. Well, then take good care of yourself. Where are you going to go? No, I don't need a handout, please. No, I don't... just think of it as a loan to tide you over till you get back on your feet, okay? I don't want it, Hal. I, I, I have some money, I remember, that I put someplace, and all I have to do is show up and claim it. Well, he's probably just waking up wet and sad. Why don't you go to him? And I'll just make one last phone call from here, if you don't mind. Be my guest. I have been. <laughs> oh, Kevin, hi, it's Carly. Our Brad and Rosanna is still there. No? Well, that's wonderful. I'm going to be heading right over. I need your help, Kevin. And, and if you come through for me, there's a, a thousand bucks in it for you. Brad has something in mind, and I'm going to get it back. Andy Dixon? <laughs> Good to see you again. Good to see you too, Deacon Horror. I I've been meaning to call you. We need some photographs taken. Sunday school picnic's right around the corner. Okay, I'm the man. Uh, can I talk to you about it next week? That sounds good to me. So, speaking of uh, Sunday school, um, I uh, have an idea for a fundraiser for some new playground oh. equipment I'd like to run by if you have a few minutes. Well, Ben, I always have time for fundraising schemes. <laughs> Excuse us. Okay. We meet again. So what brings you to the Milltown Church? Well, I'm looking for some answers. Stay in the car. You told them where no, we were. I, I should not. have never trusted she's you. There too. Get away from it's me. It's over, Hamilton. It's over. We ran another test and we know that Melinda is ours. Oh, and we are taking her home. She's mine. We both know that's not true. David Stenbeck kidnapped her right after she was born. What we don't know is when you came onto the scene and when you started working for David Stenbeck. It loves me. It loves me not. It loves me. It loves me not. The Schick ST disposable razor with its long curved handle and rubber grips. It loves me. You'll love it too. Most head lice treatments will kill lice and eggs, but only NYX with permethrin continues to protect your child against reinfestation for 14 days. NYX kills lice and keeps them from coming back. nyx -um. When you see your kids grow, you assume they're growing strong, healthy bones, but maybe they're not. 72% of our kids aren't getting enough calcium during the years when pediatricians say bones grow the most. That's why your kids' favorite cereals from General Mills now provide them with a good source of calcium. Are your kids getting enough? Look for this seal on cereals kids love from General Mills. 
Only one daily shower cleaner cleans without leaving oily looking residue like this on chrome fixtures. Shower Shine from the scrubbing bubbles. See for yourself. Clean shower leaves oily looking residue on your shiny chrome surfaces. So does Tilex. But Shower Shine leaves nothing but shine. Use your head. It's an open and shut case. Get the one that makes chrome and your whole shower shine. Shower shine from the scrubbing bubbles. They work hard after every shower, so you don't have to. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Let's try the hefty one zips, please. Did you ever have to make up your mind to pick up a mm -hmm. and leave That's easy. Other. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Now let's try the other bag, please. No, 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 ma'am. That's still the hefty one zip. Huh. Please put down the hefty one zip. <laughs> Can you hear me in there? You have to make up your mind. Hey, you know what? What? I'm out of one zips. <laughs> Can I have some more? Hefty one zip slider bags. You slide it, you're done. Take a breath. Notice anything? Well, if you happen to have a Tic Tac in your mouth, you would. You notice your breath tastes fresh. And people around you would notice your fresh breath, too. Can you breathe without a Tic Tac? Of course. But I wouldn't recommend it. Like these little guys. Your little one needs the proper nutrition to grow. If you're concerned about your child's nutrition, ask your doctor about Pediasure. It provides complete balanced nutrition and tastes great. Pediasure. Mom, you know this is all going to blow over. He invited her to move into his house. I, I thought he only wanted Parker. Well, it seems he changed his mind. Now I tell you, what kind of a man asks his ex-wife to move into his house the night before he's supposed to marry another woman? Mom, he doesn't love Carly. He loves you. And he'll get rid of her as soon as he can. Maybe even tonight, after he eats my fabulous food, sitting across the candlelit table from the most beautiful woman in Oakdale. Mm, what I do to deserve you, huh? Hi, Dad. Hey. Well, what are we interrupting here? Cooking class or group therapy? All of the above. I was telling Mom about the to-die-for meal I'm making just for the two of you tonight. You're cooking? Uh-oh, with your looks, if you can cook, somebody's in big trouble. Uh, Barbara, I think you should know that Carly is gone. She moved out. And she didn't take Parker? Well, no, because she doesn't have a place Oh, yet. well, she... then. She'll be back. Excuse me. I'll watch Parker. Would you? Thanks. Parker. Excuse me. No okay, um, they have major crud to deal with. You were dead on before. We're not needed here. I can't go yet. My mother needs my help. No, she doesn't. While you consider yourself the foremost expert on the subject of parents, I have more experience than you do with divorce. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I concede you had it tougher growing up, but you didn't seem to learn anything from it? Don't be a brat, Adam. Okay, all right. Brat this. I got right in the middle of my parents' mess. I had a band play their favorite song. I arranged an accidental, on-purpose meeting. I mean, I threw fits whenever they wanted to date other people, and I let them be alone to talk things out. And none of it resolved any of their problems. But... I ended up getting so mad at both of them. I had, I had to move out of my own house. Now, are you, are you getting the message here or what? Loud and clear. But I'm not you, and Mom and Dad aren't Margo and Tom. Uh, yeah, I know, but the principle is exactly the same. Anyway, I have an alternative for you. I have here, hot in my hands, two tickets to the Bare Naked Ladies concert tonight at the stadium. Now stand back, folks. It's first come, first serve, and yours truly got here first. How'd you score two? Oh, well, um, I was gonna go with this girl, but she just called a little while ago, and she sounded disgusting, man. She's one sick chick. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna give her ticket to you gratis. What, well, that, I, you know, I could sell these tickets, but I just, I didn't really feel like going through all that hassle. You ever hear the group? Well, I only have all their CDs. <laughs> well, then you know. <laughs> so the concert is tonight, and it's an outdoor concert, and it's supposed to be beautiful weather, and it's going to be awesome. I believe you. So, well, there's the uh, starting buzzer, so let's go. I have something in the oven. Could you get it for me? Yeah, sure. Oh, man. All right. Gotcha. All right. 
Well, I'll just, uh, help you cram all the stuff in the fridge, and then we'll be on our way. No, I, I can't go, Adam. I told him I was making this meal. I can't back out now. I, I hate it when people do that to me. Thanks, but I've also got to help with Parker. Your loss? <sighs> Later. Well, according to Ben, this is the, the best place for help and for answers and for uh, peace of mind. But you, uh, you know, you can't really prove it by me. This is about as far away from our first meeting place as we could get. Yeah, that's for sure. Look, Annie, I, I've been thinking a lot about you lately and... and all this mess with, ha with Molly and her leaving you high and dry, and I've been thinking of how I could help. Look, you could save I me so much trouble if you just level with me. I don't, I don't get how you're tied in with holding on Lily's baby, but... Oh, but I, I need I, to I know where... The... I I don't know anything Oh, come about on. That. Come on, be specific with me. I can't because they didn't tell me anything. Are you telling me that, that, that they dropped their baby off at your doorstep and they didn't give you a number where you could reach them? They weren't really sure where they were going to end up, Andy, okay? They were after Dr. Hamilton and this baby he had... Dr. And Hamilton? All... He's a part of... I should have known. Look, I need to find Molly. Okay, can you give me Look, Andy, the anything? the only reason I'm close to Lillian Holden is because of Hope. Thing. That's fine. Can you just give me a hotel name? I can't tell you what you want to know. I, I don't have that information. Great. Perfect. Molly's had a thing for Reed Hamilton all along. She swears up and down that he's scum. That she can't stand him. He's bad news. But she can't stop dogging the guy. She can't stay away from him. Pull up a pew. Keep me company. Unless you don't want to be seen by the big guy. Oh, with please. me. Will you just stop with all that fool talk? What? It's just fool speak. Good. Look, I'm not, I'm not on the pity pot here. Honest. Good. I was just making sure, because then I'd have to toss you out of here. She screwed up half the town, and then she walked out, okay? She reached in, and she yanked my heart out. Me, Molly. I believed her. You think I'm a fool? No, I'm, I'm just remembering. And what did you do about it? I lived. I went on breathing, sort of on automatic pilot. How did the Holden and Lily Snyders of the world do this? What? How did they withstand the battles that would rip most couples apart? Adversity. How do they have what it takes? Maybe they're God's chosen ones. Answer me, Dr. Hamilton. What's your connection to David Stenbeck? There is no connection. You're on the wrong track there, Holden. You're never going with my daughter ever again. to find these people now. Okay, boys, release the hounds. Someone's been here. Searching for someone at your car insurance company after dark? At GEICO Direct, we're here 24 hours a day. In fact, one 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You mousse, you spray, and even if you shampoo, it still builds up. New Thermosilk Daily Clarifying Shampoo. It removes buildup and works with heat to improve your hair's condition. Thermosilk, where there's heat, there's healthy hair. Do you need fast allergy relief? Then you need the power of Zyrtec. Prescription Zyrtec starts working fast and last 24 hours. In studies, drowsiness was the most common side effect. Others included fatigue and dry mouth. Most were mild or moderate. To learn more about Zyrtec, ask your doctor or pharmacist. So when you need fast allergy relief, remember the power of Zyrtec. Hurry and see what's coming your way. The driest of diapers arrives today. Improved Huggies Supreme. 
Huggies makes the driest diapers of all because their Breathe Dry system now lets twice as much fresh air in to keep skin drier than any other diaper. Huggies Supreme Diapers, the ultimate in care for you. For skin that stays dry, stays healthy too. I am beautiful when I'm laughing and smiling and having a good time. Ryder's jeans are made to fit beautiful women. I'm beautiful when I sing her little song and she dances. Ryder's jeans are made to fit beautiful women. Escape the day with soft soap relaxing body wash. Let the calming scent of lavender and chamomile set you free. Skin is soft, smooth. Soft soap body wash. More than just clean. still there just gobs and gobs of sweet lucre and you're mine you're mine big brad brad well, he put you in there for safekeeping for himself isn't he gonna be one surprised puppy when he comes here for a visit and finds you flowing the coop ah oh, to be a fly on the wall to see his face Still part of the American dream. What is? Marriage. Two kids, oh. SUV, filled with punks, going to the <laughs> hockey game. Uh, I don't think hockey games are part of my American dream. Mm -mm. Well, okay, dance recitals then. Yeah. But most of us can't take care of ourselves, much less nurture a family. I mean, the last thing I want to do is warp some innocent kid's mind. Yeah, but you know you'd pick it up as you went along. I got a lot figure out first for myself before I drag a kid into my life. Hey, what's that? Are you and Ben gonna do the shoes and rice thing? You got it. Yep. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's great. Congratulations there. Well, I guess I should be telling him that. What a, what a lucky guy he is, and he is. Yeah. I just want to be happy. And you will be. You and Ben and... A half a dozen little Maynard Harrises. <laughs> stop it! Just stop! <laughs> She's my baby. Do you all understand that, huh? You want to take her away from me, Snyder? You're gonna have to kill me. Nuts O's even surprise the folks here at Post. The wholesome grains of grape nuts baked into light, crispy O's with a touch of brown sugar. A taste that's light and toasty and naturally sweet. Oh. Huh? From grape nuts? Oh. 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 Yep, we had Tuesday this fall. <laughs> 